Elevators. This is Elle Beecham, owner, creator, and founder of the Elevate Movement, uh, which is a naturopathic approach to healing and mental health. Um, I just stopped by today because I had a conversation with a couple of my friends, and I've been going through, you know, a few transitions um, mentally, personally, spiritually, um, even, you know, in my romantic life and my personal life. Like, I've been going through some things where I can identify and I can point out the things that are changing for me, whether it's desires, um, whether it's ambition. There are just some shifts, you know, that's happening and I definitely appreciate them all. But let me tell you something. When I had this conversation with my friend, she and I were talking about like the things that we need. And I was very specific with her. I said, there are things that I need as a woman. Like, I cannot sit here and tell you how important it is to be romanced, um, to be protected, to be provided for, um, for a person to profess, you know, their love for you and to you, to be wined and dined, to be comforted, to be loved, um, to be shown affection and admiration like all of these things are just so important so when i was talking to her and this was around the time of the full moon um so i knew you know that i was going to be in a pickle emotionally just because of the things that were happening and she basically told me that women are not having the kinds of conversations that she and I have. And I couldn't understand that. I was like, so you mean to tell me that women are not out there really saying and being vocal about the things that they need? You know, we are looking or assuming that people know what we need. And I just think that's a disservice. Like, not only is it a disservice to myself, but it's a disservice to the person that I'm dealing with if I'm not able to articulate what my needs are. So, when you discover that you have a need, whether that need is to be uh, coddled, to be cuddled, you know, to be romance taken out on a date, you want some intimacy, whether it's, you know, physical or mental intimacy, um, whatever it is, you know, that you're wanting, we all need to have somebody in our sphere that can, uh, that can make that happen. Um, without feeling guilty, without feeling like, you know, it's a slight um, against the person, you know, who's supposed to give it to me, but they are not like, when, when that happens, we have to ask ourselves, like, how did I get here with this person who no longer fills me up or who's no longer satisfying me or if I have this new interest or whatever or something that I want to try or experiment with like I have to be honest and tell myself you know hey you got to have a conversation with x y and z because now you are into this and they deserve to know like give them the right to do that so fast forward now the conversations that I am having with my friends and I don't care who it is if you are a negative Nancy or a Debbie Downer and all you want to do is talk about somebody else and we are not, you know, moving the needle in a positive direction, we, we are not looking at the glass half full, all you are doing is being negative and complaining and you always got something, I don't want to talk to you. I don't care who you are. Um, I need for you to go and get yourself together. I need for you to... Um, spend some time with yourself you know whether it's meditating journaling those things work for me they may not work for you but find the things and the people that work for you i can no longer uh carry the weight of friends or anyone like i just i just need for everybody to carry their own weight because i'm i was at a point where i was bogged down you know and the types of conversations that i want to have are like these where women are embracing femininity, where women are being very articulate about the the depth and the width of intimacy that they need. Like it's nothing wrong with being nice and sweet and kind and calling someone baby and affirming them. Like it is nothing wrong with any of that. So with that being said, um, I challenge you as the person that's listening, whether you're male or female, encourage the women around you to tap in, like 
if you're a guy and you're looking at this video ask your woman like what does she need is there anything that she would like to try um is there a place you know or a date that she want to go is there something she want to talk about is she in need of like mental stimulation and if so what does that look like is she in need of physical stimulation and if so what does it look like and if you are a woman watching this video tell your man what you need like express to him what your wildest dreams are tell him what you would like to tap into and experiment with um just be open be honest be vulnerable we have to embrace these spaces like we can no longer keep this stuff in and we wonder why we're walking around here repressed and you know we're kind of sad or we're angry a lot of that have to do with like sexual gratification now who, who's still mad and upset after you done got you one not me so i just wanted to stop by to say that like the conversations are changing for me and my girlfriends the way i interact you know with my partner will be totally different you know moving forward because there are some things that i want and i'm going to be a lot more expressive about that because it's good and I need to be treated good okay so I just want to encourage you um, to be open and honest about your feelings um, when it comes to intimacy vulnerabilities um, even insecurities like all of these are um, ways that we connect you know to our partners um, and just show love and it's a way that we're able to be open um, and honest you know so um, until my next video elevators be encouraged um, continue doing the work continue loving on yourself continue to provide patience and understanding in all of these different uh, realms you know that we go in and out of so until my next video I'm out <laughs>